everyone welcome. It's we are at General Games, the new General Games. With a $500 Highlander event. Yeah. We are here for the top four and in Holland on high tide, as you can see. Yep. Ready because we are on okay. IO. <laughs> the deck of Melvin. <laughs> um, what's, what's, good th what's better than playing a bunch of spells? Playing them twice. Well, I think that's what uh, Gene's trying to do, trying to see how many times he can play High Titan. Yeah, turn. yeah, he got me on. Uh, th th then again, I also got him. I got him turn two with a vault, so I'd, I guess or even he just got me twice and I got him once. <laughs> so I guess we're kind of even in that regard. And who was on the play each time? Uh, <laughs> is it the classic uh, no, he, the, the he, coin flip? Uh, he was on the play actually, game one and got me, and then game two I was on the play and I got him, and then game three he got me. But game three was actually somewhat interactive. Um, it wasn't. There was a lot of blue interactive spells in uh, Gene's deck, I can say that. Yeah, uh, yes. <laughs> yes, he did a lot. Hopefully our players start somewhat soon. Uh, might uh, let him know to, to start start the old game. Uh, no, it looks like uh, he's deciding to keep his no, seven. Yeah, no, they're, 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 just they're having starting. No, no, nope, nope, we'll... Uh, we're a slightly different format. We're not completely as set up as we were previously, so let's... Uh, let the table know to start. Ah, oh, they're about to start now. Sick. Awesome. All right. Well, what do we reckon? Uh, Gene has been doing very well with this deck recently. Uh, I think he's uh, gone uh, like 3-0 or 3-1 well, or 4 in a couple of weekly tournaments. Okay. Um, and, yeah. I mean, it's, it's been printed some... High Tide has definitely received... A lot of new cards. It's just something where it's going to be looking at fighting through hate and discard that uh, Cody's bringing to the table from his side. Yep. Uh, I can see that there is a Liliana in his hand and there's something where Gene's going to have to be very careful about the discard that he's going to be running around. As right. Well. Yep. Sure. So uh, Cody leads off by uh, fetching a up toward your grave after... Basic Island out, and uh, I will just quickly mention that the High Tide deck is mono blue, so very much like a traditional Legacy deck, and he has not yet gone out and decided to try out the splashes for the deck yet. Okay, sure. So he's playing somewhat traditionally. Well, I wouldn't say this is the traditional Highlander deck. It's something that he's uh, been working on for the last couple of months, but in terms of what the Legacy deck that it's based on is and how that's structured it does work in a similar fashion sure okay yeah definitely well i mean he gets to play uh well he gets to play back to basics which is nice that is uh never bad and <laughs> we're seeing as i <laughs> mentioned the discard earlier we're immediately leading up on a hymn to Turak. oh that's a good start uh no combo deck likes that card that is that is awful no responses there so he's gonna Ooh, lay them out and we're going for the dice roll actually against look against um High tide. It's not. It's not the actual worst. Like you can definitely still do fine. You've got enough ways to recur your to recur your graveyard. Um, particular as I said with some of those new cards like mission briefing and um, obviously you know spending a point in snapcaster and things like that. So since you know if if he hits something relevant, I think the most relevant thing he's going to hit there is probably um, uh, snapcaster. Maybe straight up snapcaster. Sure. So I. Th I think that was the Madness Draw card Okay. Uh, that we just hit there. Yeah. <laughs> so Chain Drawing anyway off the discard spell. Oh, God. Uh, that's, and that's, the other one was... That a makes your uh, that makes your discard two significantly worse when it becomes discard one. Draw card. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gene playing some nice islands. Now, Cody on Kess Pile, obviously Kess is the, uh, the thing that everyone's talking about at the moment, given the recent point changes. And if you look at the front of his hand there, you can see a gift's ungiven. Now, this was just, I believe, the start of this week on Monday that gifts has been yeah. unpointed. Yep. Immediately decided to put in his deck. So, well, uh, I mean... I, I don't know what the package is, yeah, but it sure. could just be for value. We'll find out. Yeah, it could be. Uh, I mean, it's free. Uh, <laughs> you know, it makes sense if, if a card was pointed previously and it's now not pointed, maybe it's worth just throwing it in there and seeing what it, seeing what it can do for you. It's interesting... I've always viewed Gifts Ungiven as a very build-around card. Yep. And so I feel like you would need to make structural changes to the deck in order to make that a valid option in it. Yes. The other point that I would put towards it is 
you're not really wanting to cast that many four and five mana spells. Yeah, agreed. Gifts Ungiven is going to be competing with Fact or Fiction for space in the deck. Yeah. And you're not even sure you want to be playing Fact that much in the deck yeah, anyway. Yeah, exactly right. Exactly right. I, I think... I, I mean, I'm not... Granted, I haven't played a huge amount of uh, Highlander as of late. So I haven't had too many reps versus Kess. Um, my, my take on it is it's probably not that suited to the deck. Just based on the, as you say, the kind of cards that Kess wants to be playing, I feel that it, he might be just trying it out. I mean, it's the first tournament, so it makes That's sense. True. It makes sense. Meanwhile, Gene is. Uh, it's a big mana thing to be doing a uh, experiment in. Well, sorry, big cost tournament. Be <laughs> yeah. Doing well, it's true. I mean, he's made top four though. He has. He has made top four, which is a which is a good start. So, Gene. Gene has cast Brainstorm. He's put back a Mana Leak and another and a Miscalculation. Yep. He's then looted with Jason's Prodigy, got rid of one of the cards, and we're going yep. to see that flip. Yeah, that, uh, that Jason's Prodigy does some work in this deck. Uh, Cody's also put down a Liliana on his side of the field, yes. and I don't think there's a lot of creatures in uh, Gene's side Gene's of the deck. deck. So Not that you're going to interact with. <laughs> but yeah. it's something whereby that uh, ultimate clock of Liliana going to seven and making oh, a right. yes. horde of zombies is a much greater threat than it would be in another matchup. True. I think. True. Um, the thing with the thing with the high tide, though, generally w the turn Gene decides to to pull the trigger is the turn you lose. So he's got. If that's the only clock presented by Cody, I mean, Gene's just going to wait until the turn before, just like any Storm player would, and go off on that turn. Um, so he's uh, picked up a Karna spell and put a Mana Leak on the bottom of his library. Yep. Uh, just looking at the hands, uh, I can see that there's a Field of Ruin, a, uh, well, a Sulphur Falls that just got paid. There's yep. a Kess, I think a Mystic Comp. No, sorry, that was the Gifts Ungiven I saw before. Yes, it was Gifts. And a Dig Through Time, I think, is the last card. Yeah. Uh, Cody laying down that... Uh, Kess that we just mentioned. So yeah. the namesake of the Kess pile well, deck. Kess, and now Kess, I think we're going to see a uh, him to Turak come back up yeah, next Kess, turn. Kess with him in the bin's pretty good. On Gene's side, we've got uh, two land. There is a candelabra, yeah. a high tide, a time spiral, and one other card. Go off here. Which I think is a counter spell. Okay, so Gene's got two options. He can, I reckon, he can either go for it this turn, which might be a bit greedy, or he. And a frantic search. Okay. A, fr a frantic search, okay. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, I think if you had the high... I'm not sure if I saw a high tide before. I thought I did. Yeah. But if you have the high tide, I think Ooh, you just... that's a back to basics. Jam it up. That's a good back to basics. That's a real good back to basics. Uh, so, but more, my original point, uh, <laughs> if I was a gene, I would consider either going off here or simply holding up Counterspell, anticipating Cody to try and him you. In this position, after the frantic search, do you just jam the back to basics? I think you just jam the back to basics. Like, Cody's tapped out. There's going to be one force in his deck. I don't think it's worth playing around the one-off yeah. force, especially since Buy yourself Cody a bunch has of time. a cantrip at the moment. So yeah, there it is. he's playing with what he's drawn. Yep, yeah, so there it is. So simply jams the back to basics. Cody, no response. Uh, Gene's in a pretty good spot now. Though Kess... Kess can can do a little bit to Kess can uh, do a little bit, but I think the Liliana is still the key part yeah. of the board state that we're in. Yeah. And that's been countered by the back to basics. So it's just to see who can draw out of the threat that yeah. the opponent has put down yeah, first. For sure. So interesting, Gene is actually just playing playing the fetches simply to thin the deck. Yeah. Uh, like and he's deck. discarded the two islands that he had in hand, so it's all action that he's got yeah, going there. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't need too much more than this. He, he, his grip right now is actually pretty decent to even consider going off next turn, um, yeah. given the cards he has in the bin as well, with the ability to flash one of them back, um, you know, possibly flash back a frantic search, or I think he discarded... Okay, um, and he lays down the candle, so I think that is the point that he yeah. is... Uh, Prepared to do this next turn. Yeah, I think he's. I think he's in a really good spot. Interest. Did Cody have the? Sorry, I just saw a, a force in Cody's hand. Did he not have that last? Did he draw that? Uh, I think he must. Have oh, that's a, a kick. Not one hundred percent certain. That's but such a kick in the teeth. The turn after the back to basics comes down, you draw the the answer you needed. Oh, that's yeah. really rough. But it's, it's going to help him a little bit this turn because it does stifle the amount of the gene has access to for his. Uh, well, for his turn, that's going yeah. to go down here. Do you consider Field of Ruining yourself? Oh, wait, no, Field of Ruin costs two, right? Costs two yeah. and has to be tapped, so yeah. not quite. Okay, we're going for the Impulse. 
I think right. I may have been wrong when I thought I saw a high tide there before. Yeah, I think yeah, I think it was the impulse. Interesting, Cody. So he does have the card to pitch. Um, I think maybe you just wait and let Gene go to the point where you counter the time spiral or yeah. so we're seeing the, the, here, the pivotal spell. I believe that's Turnabout Island, maybe Brain Freeze and a Mana Leak. Yeah, so I think uh, Gene Gene's. At least the games I played against him, his his go to win con was the the brain freeze. I don't think he's playing any other kind of tech for the win. He's just straight up, um, straight up milling you. Yeah. Um. He actually got me got me good. He uh <laughs> he brain freeze me for half my deck, and then mission briefing and brain freeze me for the other half my deck. Uh, so bad. one of the other <laughs> newer cards in yeah. the formats making its uh, presence known in his deck. Yep. Yeah, it's been printed. I was talking to Gene after the games. He was, he, yeah, he's, he, he feels that it's in a really good spot given some of the new printings. Like that, that's a big one. Uh, some of the new, the madness stuff. Uh, you know, the, yeah, there's some, there's some definitely some cards showing up. So Lily's finally made it to seven, and I think this is the turn where Gene needs to either go off or he's possibly losing. Possibly game. losing, yeah. I. That's an opt, I believe. Yeah, opt. So yeah, he's, one, draw he, a card. he's playing opt. Yeah, he's playing playing some of the all star blue cards. <laughs> it's uh, you know, they're it's modern, a card. They're modern worthy. They might be uh, Highlander worthy. It's a card. It's a card that can play. Does things. But cards like that are very powerful in a deck that can make infinite blue mana. And I do like. There's it. a lot of just the nice old boarded blue cards floating yeah. around here. It just it's yeah. the, the cards that I'm really happy to be G playing. Gene's with. committed. Gene's committed. He knows he al he also like he's committed with the islands he's playing. It's a very nice dig through time we've got there. Yeah, that's al although there is a cost in this associated with dig through time in this deck given that you want you you are playing towards shuffling a large portion of your library back into your deck. So having to exile certain cards can come at a cost. But he probably has enough cards in there that he we doesn't have care about. Five lands in graveyard, and yeah. you don't really want to be drawing those while you're trying yeah, to combo with a yeah, giant spiral, though. Yeah, in this, in this like, spot, it's, that's that's great. I think. Yeah, yeah, true. I I did forget the fact that he actually has. So there's three. We can see three lands plus the fetch. Uh, so he's gonna get rid of a chain of vapor. Yep, and uh, that's on the tick down with uh, Jace. So Lily's gonna make it off the board now. There's the force. It's for the force pitching the gifts. Timely force. And he's got one card left in hand now. Yeah, so Gene, Gene, I don't, uh, does he have another answer for this? Is he he still a counter spell in hand, right? Yeah, yes, st he still does. holding the counter spell. So, so th that might spell the end uh, of Cody's hopes in this game. I feel well, the Kess is going to hit the Jace here, so that's very nice. Uh, I will just go back uh, to what we were talking about a couple of minutes ago. The sure. Field of Ruin is not going to get Cody out of here because it can only hit opponents non-basic Oh, lands. wow. Okay, so you can't, so even, you, can't like, you can't do the cheeky ghost quarter yourself. You can't it's, ghost quarter yourself. Yeah. You are... Uh, <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> so that is just a colourless source that is at a, the moment. That is a one single-use colourless source right now. I wonder... Does Cody have something in the main to deal with the back-to-basics? Does Kespile play something that, that can easily deal with an enchantment? Uh, with an enchantment, hard to say. I don't think so. Uh, there was a few people who were, uh, because of the Melbourne meta, cheekily running a pyroblast in the main recently. Okay. But yeah, that's I, that, that's interesting. But I don't think we're. Uh, yeah, not 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 uh, not main board. So there will be a cryptic command. So what Jace, uh, what Gene just picked up, you can uh, cryptic count, uh, bounce the uh, back to basics and yep. get a, another option. Yeah. The mystic well. confluence only hits creatures, though. It's not something you really want to be yeah. working against. Uh, there might be an engineered explosives, but that feels like more of a sideboard card to me. Yeah. Okay. So, Gene. Interestingly, I thought he would have maybe pulled the trigger already, but. Not doing that. I think he just wanted to deal with the Liliana first and keep yep. his opponent under the back to basics. That is an idea, Zambal. So draw three yep. cards at end of turn, discard three cards. Nice, nice. Uh, yeah, so he's just... Uh, I think he's just searching for the high tide and... Uh, yeah, just... just hasn't, hasn't hit any of his tutors just yet. Um, so, yeah, I've been, uh, once again, playing cards like uh, Mystical Tutor, Merchant Scroll... So we don't have the deck list in front of us at the moment. No, but, I just, just but to get an idea, uh, 
Cody on Caspar is going to be on what we call Melbourne points, which yep. is going to be uh, two points for dig through time, yep. a Jace, a Snapcaster, a True Name, yep. and then a Mana Drain and a Force Will. And a Force of Will, thank you. Uh, Gene's points, I believe there's a Force of Will in there. Yeah, there seen, is a seen Mystical Shooter for two. Yes, Mystical uh, Shooter. Uh, what else did he play? Oh, Dig, we saw. We saw Dig, so that's up to five. And uh, I would guess that there's a couple more tutors floating around in there. Is Merchant Scroll pointed? Uh, Merchant Scroll is one point. Yeah, so he's playing Merchant Scroll. I do know that for a fact. He okay. played that against me. So we have our gifts ungiven end of turn from Gene. Oh, so, <laughs> so Gene, got, Gene got the extra, got a, got a free point as well. Did. Uh, Feels, I wonder what his piles are in this deck. Uh, so uh, here we go. So we're getting an island, a high tide. Uh, we are getting a finale of Revelation, so the new X Blue Blue. I think that's finale of Revelation. I'm yep. Not so, familiar. So that is from the new set, which came out yesterday. Yep. Uh, and let me get that text on it. It's sure. one of the uh, cards which lets you. Um, so X Blue Blue, draw X cards, and if X is 10 or more, instead shuffle your graveyard into your library. Draw X cards, untap up to five land. Wow. And you have no maximum hand size for the rest of the game. Exile Whoa. finale of Revelation. Okay, so yet another great card. Yep. The other card being Mission Briefing there, I think. Uh, I believe that is the card that lets you return a card from your graveyard to your hand. Just I think. Yeah, I'm, 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 well, it's a little bit right. hard to say there. Yeah, so Gene, get, Gene being given uh, an the island. The island and the high tide. Island and a high tide. Interesting that he gave him the high tide. Yeah, well, maybe, maybe he just didn't want to have the other cards. I don't know. I either he has an answer to it, or yeah. he thinks that it's not as important as everything else. Yeah, sure. He might not necessarily know what Gene uh, Deck is doing at the moment. Important to note. Uh, there we go. And the Snapcast was the last point. <laughs> yep, that Snapcast, of course. Uh, Cody could. Oh uh, no, he doesn't have access to the second black. I was going to say he could. He could cast out the. Um, uh, the him that's in his bin, but currently does not have access to the second. Oh, that hurts. Draws a, <laughs> draws a tapped land. Draws a tapped land. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the Kess, Kess still still there. Uh, if Unfortunately, it's uh, not going to be Cody's turn when he goes off, but the force can actually be cast by pitching a card in his hand. It yes. doesn't say that you need to pay his mana cost. You just yes. can play it from yes, the graveyard. Yes, and uh, but uh, yeah, obviously, he, uh, Gene probably not not going to be playing anything, or at least not too much on Cody's turn. Cody tapping out there to play a true name. It looks like he's going for the Snapcaster. Uh, yeah, so Snapcaster Counterspell. I think we're going to see here. Okay. Does Gene? I'm I'm still really curious as to why Gene is fighting over this these kind of like over over a creature right now. When I feel that the clock isn't fast enough for him to. I feel like he has enough time to just wait three turns and then... If you're not sure that... If you don't think you're ready and you think you need at least one more card, then you need to have the fight otherwise. Ooh. There's the force, as you, as you pointed out. So force... Yeah. Played, played from Kess. Pitching... Dig. Dig, that's quite the play. Uh-huh. So Cody's all in on this dream. Yeah, Cody, Cody's a hundred percent because he has tapped all of his non-basic How, lands. However, it's got to gotta feel pretty good for Cody right now because Gene has spent a lot of resources fighting, and in most cases, Cody's come out on top. Uh, it, it is, but Gene is also playing this with all his mana untapped. He's just got a mystical shooter, so looks like he's going for this now. Right, okay, so he's got the tutor now. So we've got High Tide, right, and so that is a Storm Counter, starting off on one. That's going to be Storm. And High Tide, for anyone who doesn't know, is uh, when it's cast, uh, any player can uh, tap an island, it will tap for uh, so an extra blue mana. extra blue mana, yep. So uh, he's using um, Candelabra, which untaps X target land, so they has tapped for... So we're tapping for 12 mana, yep. uh, using six of it to untap those land and still leaving six mana behind when we do that. Yeah, and then be, have the option to tap again. So yeah, anyone not familiar with the High Tide deck, obviously it makes a bunch of blue mana. It does. So uh, we're currently sitting at five blue mana and two storm. Yep. 
Uh, it also plays cards. Uh, so a card that you that is played, I think it plays. He, de uh, I know for a fact, Gene does play the Palancron. I don't know if he plays the other creature in addition to the Palancron. Uh, so Palancron being a creature that when you play it, un uh, costs five on tap five. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and obviously, when your lands tap for more uh, than cost seven, sorry, it costs seven. Untap five, and you can bounce it to hand for some cost. But basically, that equates to with high tide in play, that equates to infinite mana. Yep. So we're going ideas unbound, drawing three cards. Yep. Starting three. That's a temporal fissure, which is a storm card. Uh, bounce a permanent. Yep. Uh, we've got a cryptic command. Yeah, against uh, against Jim, he asked me in one game how many permanents I had, which made me. Let me quiver a little bit. <laughs> um, uh, Not 100% certain on what the card that he mystical for is, but we're playing it now, so we'll see what happens. Was it? Th well, he had the high tide, so he definitely didn't mystical for the high tide. No. Um, so I think it will be one of the recursion spells. But yeah, presumably. Presumably he feels he can play something out of the bin here. Um, okay, so we're tapping for 10 mana. Yeah. Yeah, so as and I that looks like that might be the finale that he's playing there. Yep. Yeah, so he's playing the finale so that he gets to untap his five land. Yep. And tap them again for more yep. mana than... So he uses all 16 mana. Yes. Um, <laughs> which means he's going to be drawing 14 cards and untapping all, all but one of the land he has. Yes, and then very likely to draw something like Mind's Desire with a... Very high storm count, which allows him or to... High the storm count's not that high yet, but I six, believe right? we're going to... Yeah, it's at five so far. Oh, five, okay. But oh. we're going to have... It'll, it will... It's not uh, not nothing, but probably not high enough yet to rely on a... Oop, showing throwing your opponent a card you've probably already seen. Uh, I still find it interesting, because he's doing this the turn directly after he spent his Snapcast the Mage fighting over a... Over a um, it could just be that he was wanting to try and bait the counter spells possibly. out of his hand, so yeah. he had yeah, as much mana, mana yeah. as possible available to that's himself true. when he, he was did. doing it on his own turn. Yeah, that's one hundred percent correct. He did get the force of will out of Cody's hand by doing so. So we've seen a brain freeze and a turnabout in that collection of cards. The turnabout, great, great heal. Yeah, all these cards just uh, doing roughly the same thing. Yeah, uh, yeah, some, some, some variety of. Do something, untap some lands, uh, which is all net net mana when so your lands tap for Cody hasn't scooped yet, so I don't know whether he's just wanting to see more of exactly what the deck does. Frantic or search. Yeah, probably just wanted to see more of the deck. There's no reason to scoop. It's untimed. Uh, your opponent, believe it or not, can win. He, uh, unlikely at this point, but Gene could actually just whiff a win condition. I, I believe, well, I think I've seen the win condition, which is Brains Freeze in hand. Oh, he's got it in hand. Okay, so the, yeah, unlikely then. He has many ways to get to it, yes. but he could. It is potential that that could that could happen. Um, interesting from Cody. I mean, maybe the. I mean, hindsight's a great thing, obviously, yep. but maybe fighting over the. Yep. So, oh, so click just taking what's in hand, making yep. sure that it's still Passes the clear. same card that got chained back. Yeah, I was about to say maybe it was correct for him to just wait on the force of will, but obviously Gene, Gene, a competent player, knowing that the Kess could. Well, obviously, it doesn't help him. So if it was going... in hand... So, yeah, because obviously Cody cast it much earlier in the game. Maybe he was better off holding the Force of Will in hand, but then again, Gene would probably make the same play. And So we're going towards the win here. We're getting Brain Freeze for eight, and I would not be surprised if uh, this is about to be flashbacked by some creature over. Yeah, I, I pr presum it's presumably going to be mission briefing. Having a look at what's in the tech before going for yeah. the final kill. Knows what he's playing against. Right, so... Oh, yep, there's a scoop. I guess uh, Gene pointed something at something and yep. Cody had had enough. Got the curl. <laughs> so it looks like we're going to go to sideboards now. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna jump, jump, jump to sideboard now. So that's one game one to Gene. All right, maybe we can see what they're boarding here. So there's it looks like there's three cards. Uh, that's counterbalance. It's I think counterbalance. Interesting. Definitely a lot of library interrelation in that deck. So yeah. Okay, interesting. Uh, Imagine that. Uh, 
Cody, I didn't see what Cody bought it in, but I mean... Okay, so we're getting rid of some of the... It looks like a lot of creature hate down there. So yeah. we saw the Baleful Strix. Don't need it. Foxy Deluge. That was Dreadbore. I think that was a gift. Yeah, it didn't gift. Yeah, it no, didn't just like not gifts. quite doing electrolytes. <laughs> <laughs> just anything which can deal with a creature. We don't need yeah, that. Yeah, you don't, don't, you just don't need it at all. Um, which is correct. Which is one hundred percent correct. I mean, yeah, I, like there are. That is to say that the Genes deck does play creatures, but the creatures it's playing aren't ones that you need to interact with. And then we've got a Nihil spell bomb going in. Yes, Graveyard Hate is really strong versus the High Tide deck. Obviously, not sure what that was. Uh, so two Red Blasts. <laughs> yeah, yep, two varieties of Red Blast. Yeah, answer Graveyard answers uh, very. That was a Giraffe. Yeah, yeah. So uh, typical, typical strategy versus any kind of combo. Um, Hand disruption very strong. Yeah. Uh, and then in addition to that, against a deck that's hev so heavily plays out of the graveyard, uh, obviously graveyard disruption very strong also. Um. Yeah. So it it, it probably a I feel that uh, like most combo decks, uh, they're usually favoured game one. Mm. Uh, however, I don't know if even after board, I feel that Cody's deck doesn't get significantly better it is uh gene tech is very much playing as like a control deck until the point it combos as well which is it's definitely not an all in combo but it doesn't really have a plan b either. no so no, it's no, say no. if you i I, <laughs> I genuinely feel that if uh gene's uh brain freeze gets removed from the game in some way he probably scoops uh so there's a few other things you can do there is still the uh draw x cards uh, sorry, target player yeah, sure. draws X cards. Uh, then... Have to do that a couple times. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it, it's true. He does. It's not an instant loss, but it's it's a much it's a much harder game. Yeah. Um, like brain freeze is just the easiest way to win, but mm. there are other ways to win that he yeah. has around yeah. as well. Yeah, I guess uh, I guess he's managed to dodge things like extract and stuff through the yeah. game through through the through the day. And I know that uh, there is a. Uh, dream halls in the sideboard. Oh, okay. For the point at which uh, someone somehow manages to surgical extract or yeah. is a uh, high tide. Yeah, yeah. So he still has the ability to cast all the spells. Yes, that's pretty good. Okay, so there's high tide, candle, mana leak, temporal fissure, two yes. hands, and I think a ponder. Oh, that's a good start and then from we've Cody. Got Island Nihil spell bomb. Uh, yeah, Fetchland, Preordain, shuffling his hand a little bit too fast to be able to yeah. work out exactly what it is. Look, that's a that's a great start for Cody to fight against the high tide. I mean, I imagine think Gene... that's the Baleful Strix that I thought he's bought it out. I so. thought I saw him bought out the Baleful Strix also, but maybe not. Maybe he just decided to keep it. I so mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a fine creature. It draws a card. <laughs> it does. So like, it works as just a cantrip. It yep. doesn't need to necessarily kill the opponent outright. It's a, it's yeah, a very, very great value card is the uh, is the Strix. But so I think uh, Cody being burned from the, uh, I I don't know if he's leaning on that island a bit more or the basics just because he got burned by the uh, back to basics back to basics in game one. But uh, well, we'll it's see how it's it not wrong. It's it's definitely not wrong here to try and to try and get your basics out first if you can play off of the basics initially. Yeah. Um, now he has the mana to blow up the spell bomb, which is. And is that a counter spell or is that the counterbalance? Counter balance? That's counterbalance. So Gene immediately dropping out the counterbalance, gonna it get leaked. Leaked. That's pretty good for Cody. Yeah, so like now Gene Gene definitely has to answer this Nihil, uh the spell bomb before he can really do anything significant. Um Okay, and that's an Ashiok. Oh, that could be bad. So Players cannot search libraries. Yes. And it's got a negative two ability. Come starts with five loyalty. Yep. No other plus abilities, which is uh, one of the part new, of the new planeswalkers. One of the new planeswalkers, yeah. Some uh, of them have pluses. Uh, yeah, so it's... Uh, well, this one yeah, particularly sure. doesn't. Yeah, uh, most, a lot don't, yeah. So it's got negative two. Uh, target player puts the top four cards of their library into their graveyard. Yep. Then their opponent... Uh, Ex exile is going to opponents. exile it. Yeah, exile an opponent's graveyard. So they can mill themselves if they wish, but it's always going all to be opponents. the opponent's graveyard yep. Yep. exiled. Yep, yep. So you can mill yourself and then exile all opponent graveyards. And that, that is, is a bond uh, of the new set. So the uh, okay. bonds are the sign of each of the uh, guilds all working together. Yep. Uh, there's one for each uh, pair of sure. guilds. Yep. Uh, 
and quite up to date on your lore, it would seem. Yes, apparently I read an article on oh, it. Oh, right, fair enough. <laughs> found out what the story was. Sure. Nicol Bolas apparently ended up in prison somewhere. Oh, okay, good to know. Good to know. Uh, that's a candelabra hitting the table. That is a candelabra. So Bond of Insight is each player puts the top four cards of its library into their graveyard, then return two instant or sorcery cards from the graveyard to your hand. Okay, yep. Exile Bond of Insight. Yeah, sure. They're all just good cards. Uh, so, so that was uh, apparently a collaboration between the Demir and the Izzet. Sure, that makes sense. And so Cody, Cody definitely in the driver's seat here with the Ashiok in play. He doesn't want to go down... Oh, no, Ashiok... He's on one now, so he it's definitely on three, doesn't. I think, but no, he's used it twice. Okay, he's on three loyalty. Uh, oh, maybe he didn't use it twice, or maybe it only goes down once. Is it neg one? It's neg two. Okay, not sure what happened there. Unless the die is wrong. Sure. But Gene's still happy to continue playing anyway. Um, yeah, interesting. Well, I I don't know if we've missed that or not, but yeah. we've uh, got the second basic, and we're playing um, Alpha Strix on Cody's side, and I think he's just happy to sit behind pretty much a semi prism for this deck. Yeah, I think uh Cody's yeah, Cody's definitely in the driver's seat here. Uh the Ashiok very much the in the inability like the, the, the one sided shadow of doubt effect on the, the Ashiok incredibly powerful versus a deck playing so many tutors in addition to the fact that Cody also has the ability to at any point exile the graveyard that he needs to. Yeah, so the Temple Fisher that is Gene's hand at the moment. Let's just have a quick look at that one. Yep. Uh, that is a sorcery. So he's not going to be able to do it as an end of turn bouncy uh, a shock. It's something that he's going to have to commit his whole turn when he wants to do this. Okay. It's definitely going to make things harder. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, so if you're... Okay, so Cody's obviously driving this match right now. Uh, your Gene, what are you looking for? Well, I think you want some kind of bounce spell. So you're looking for Chain of Vapor, you're looking for Repeal. Yep. Uh, but you want it to be something instant that you can do on the end of yes. your opponent's turn. Yes. Uh, and then once you've got that, you just need to make sure that you've got your combo in hand the turn after you do that. Sure. Uh, one of the good things is despite the fact that... Uh, Cody does have a very hard-looking prison in yeah. play. Uh, it is not something where he's actually really presenting a threat. No, it. this is true. So currently Gene he has, has currently he has, work out of <laughs> currently it. he has a one-one. <laughs> yeah. And let's just check. So Ashok is actually a negative one ability. Yeah, so I thought so. That, that makes sense. Five abilities. Uh, wow, that's well, five opportunities. That's huge. To, Fifteen cards. Mill four. He mills four cards a time. Uh, Three cards it, a time. Target player puts the top four cards oh, wow. of their library into the graveyard, then exile each opponent's graveyard. That's crazy. You can exile 20 cards. That's that's quite powerful. Okay, so we're going uh, for a mana drain on the high tide that Jane has just run out. Yeah. And Gene just seems to be considering whether or not... Yeah, he's just going to scoop it up. going to be... Nope, not happy. Not happy. It, 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 I mean, as you say... It was a prison, and I think yeah. that was just like... He Co was all in on that yeah, high time. Yeah, Cody, Cody not presenting any real threats, but Gene recognising that he'd lost so much of his graveyard and was uh, so much of his deck was about to lose a little bit more, had no way to get it back, and yeah. basically... It, yeah. I do like the the Blue Planeswalkers in the set, so the Ashiok and the Narset. I think there is the beginning of a prison deck, and sure. uh, it's something that you can just... Have in your sideboard is just marginal hate pieces. Yeah, and sure. Just work yeah, I, I can see well. that. Uh, yeah, the the new um, the new cards. Look, there's th what is it? Thirty six planeswalkers. It's thirty six planeswalkers, but they just feel like more vulnerable enchantments to some extent as well. True, true. I think it, but it's some of the effects are so powerful. They definitely are. Uh, I think within the environment that they've put them, so in standard and limited, the yeah. Elder Spell is going to be something really important for sure. dealing with that. Just yep. deal with any number of Planeswalkers. Yeah, definitely. But definitely. Something here. Yeah, we're only really able so. to, In yeah, Highlander let... and a singleton format, it's something where they're really only going to be dealing with one of them at a time. Yeah, so sure. For sure. Very different. Yeah, this is true. Uh, this is definitely true. But I mean, like, <laughs> where's the... I want to see the new... Uh, the Khan Myosynth, Myosynth Lattice deck. <laughs> the Khan Myosynth Lattice deck? Yeah, that one. That uh, one. You don't want to just play uh, Narod Myosynth Lattice and lock everyone out? Then make sure you've got one more card than your opponent. 
That's great. Um, I never thought about it that way. Uh, that, 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 is, that is a way to win. No, I, uh, there have been... <laughs> day one, it was already in vintage on Moto Online. Oh, wow. <laughs> the day, they're just like, yep, we're doing this. Yeah, this is Lock the thing. my opponent out. Yeah, how many cards? One, one less than me? All right, let's go. <laughs> oh, not the Nelbro, just the, uh, the Khan and Michael. Oh, Khan, oh yeah, right. Yeah, Khan is... Um, Khan's interesting. Khan is a... Yeah, definitely. I'm currently toying around with the idea of him actually in my time vault deck. Um, not so, sh- does that mean that you put your uh, time vault in the main or the board? <laughs> that's that's very committal. Uh, no, well, you see, you've got that, and you've got, you've got the, the golden wish. You've got the option. Uh, I did try something cheeky along the lines of uh, putting a helm. A uh, helm of obedience on the board. Okay. Um. So then you can do cheeky things like occasionally side it in if people side it in like a rest in peace virtue, or you can side in a um, uh, you can side in a um, black uh leyline tel- leyline of the void. That's the one. Uh, leyline of the void, and uh, you know, get him with the get him with the helm. On a side note today, I actually managed to kill someone by tinkering for a helm of obedience. That's not something that happens very often. No, not really. <laughs> What's there a Leyline in play, though? Yeah, Leyline was in play. Okay. Um, had options. It, it's better when you manage to do it because they, they bought, a, a rip, they yeah. bought an arrest in peace and you <laughs> tinker into your Leyline. Yeah, tinker into my Leyline. Uh, no, it was, uh, it, 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 that was a fun match. That was a, that was a fun game one. Anyway, it looks like we're shuffling up for game yep. three. We've got seven on each side and it's going to be Gene on the play this time. Um, and this is a deciding match. Yes, it's uh, is. kind of interesting because really only one player has a life total, and the other one needs a deck total instead. Yep. Yeah, basically, we just need a deck counter for for Cody and a and a life total for Gene. Yeah, there's a fluster storm on Cody's side of the board, so Ooh, that's going to be a nasty that's one that's something to he's going to want to sit on for a very long time. Um, I think it looks like a dread ball, but I'm not sure. Uh, Red Bull is interesting. Things like Candelabra, I think there's uh, a plane him, a, maybe a plane, the Netherland. Oh, ships it. Didn't have the lands he wanted, maybe? Yeah, I don't think there was enough land to justify that hand. Yeah, yeah. Uh, of note, we're not. Uh, obviously, this is current current competitive rules for for Magic events. So this is standard. I guess what what's it called? The French Mulligan. Uh, no, not French. We are doing the Vancouver, Vancouver Mulligan at the Mulligan. moment. <laughs> the Vancouver uh, Mulligan. The London Mulligan has not been decided on, so... Uh, yes, it's not uh, currently a, a standard way we'll of... We'll see how they uh, feel it went after the yes. London GP, which was a couple of... Like, last week, I think? Yeah, I think it was last week. Uh, there'll be a couple of weeks, maybe another two or so, a week or at least a week, I would assume, before any decision is made. I feel... It, well, it, I the, feel the thing with the Vancouver Mulligan is that they made a decision on it after about... A week, and yeah. it was something where they're just like, "Yes, we think this is good." I yeah. think this is much riskier to try and bring yes, in because it and does. Just looking at what they did a trial on Moto, obviously, yeah. and what I've seen is it feels like it's fine until you get up to about modern. I think it's still okay, but mm. legacy vintage, and yeah, just uh, it doesn't need to be in the eternal uh, uh, format. I, I will say that. My day felt worse this morning when I sat down and was told that I was not going to be able to do a London Mulligan with my deck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've had Island from Jean and Thoughtseize Thoughts. encountered from Cody. Uh, the cards are High Tide, uh, Mana Leak, uh, One Island, a Temple Fisher, a Mystical Tudor, and uh, what's that last one? That is the... Um, Madness draw a card, Madness draw a which card. I cannot remember the name of right now. Yeah, sure. So taking the... He took the high tide, correct? He took the high tide and then yep. Jean drew a card of yep. his Madness spell. Yeah, that's fine. That's a pretty good start for Cody. Circular logic, maybe? Who knows? Yeah, yeah um, not, not sure. That's so a draws a second land, which is good. That's fine. Pretty good start. Gene, Gene nicely playing open for his opponent. Doesn't doesn't have to do that. Okay. And uh, he's picked up a snap there. So one in blue... Uh, Return a creature to its owner's hand, untap two land. Yep, yep, that's Gene, the bugger. Game three, after losing to a time vault, didn't side out snap. Okay. So I couldn't kill him with a dark depths. The hard life sometimes. <laughs> uh, and so we've got uh, him countered by Manalik Ooh, on Cody's that's, side. That's rough. Well... Cody knew about the mana leak and Gene had two mana open. So it's something where he's, yeah, I feel, I feel he it's just smart. needs to get that out of his hand. Yeah. We'll see if it gets flashback in some way maybe, soon. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you, 
maybe you try and sneak it through? Or maybe he just felt that it's fine to just go one for one? Uh, yeah, like, I think you're just trying to get rid of the resources that oh! you already know about. Mm, that yeah. hurts. The back to basics comes down, but Cody at least has a swamp. This has time. a swamp. Um, that's super punishing, though. Uh, nope, that one stays tapped. Has uh, a tap uh, land in hand. Does he have another uh, mana that source? That is a spire buff canal, I believe. Uh, I think it might be a uh, fumarole. No, that is no, a that's fumarole. Spot. That, yeah, it's a fumarole. Yep, yeah, so that one's coming to play oh, tap. Oh, that's rough. And I don't think there's another land sitting around there. That hurts. That really hurts. The turn three back to basics is always a it's always a paddling. It feels like both the games of Gina's uh, <laughs> has won so far. It looks like it's going that way though. Yeah. It's just on the strengths of that card alone. Yep. Uh recently off the ban list, but still a very contentious card along Ooh, with yep. the Blood Moon. Along and, with Blood Moon. Uh, um, Magus of the Moon. It's an interesting Magus is I mean, well, let's not get into that debate, but I mean, Magus is, Magus is a creature. It's, hard, it's easier to answer than the other two, but like two enchantments, um, I feel that are quite warping, um, both in decision-making and deck building. Yes. It does affect the way that you build your deck and... Uh, yeah. The standard, the standard argument being, obviously, you can play around it or you can build around it, but I, I feel a card that requires you to play and build around sim simultaneously is probably worthy of a point, but... That's just my opinion. Um, definitely, uh, I'm sure a debate that will continue for a long time. A long, long time. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going for Mystical Tutor? Yep. Uh, Cody just can't really wonder if what he's got in place. No, so. unfortunately. Um, he really did... Uh, did he have a way to prevent... Did he have a counter spell in hand when uh, the Back to Basics was played? I'm not 100% certain. But, uh, he, ha he did have access to two mana at the time. He chose to go for the... Chose to try to sneak the, uh, tr as you say, try chose to bait, essentially bait out the counter, the, the, the mana leak. So we're going for the Bond of Insight again, which uh, just to remind you is everyone mills four, and then uh, the player who casts it gets two or sorceries back from the graveyard. Okay. So I think we'll be looking at the high tide and physical tutor a second time. Yeah. Yeah. So, Gene, the thing about this deck that makes it quite. <laughs> quite a formidable deck is once it gets time it just builds up to a point where it can't you, you can't lose essentially and we hit brainstorm on brain freeze i should say on the way down so oh hitting a basic there that hurts that does hurt a lot i think there's only three in the deck maybe yeah four. yeah that really hurts Hopefully, Cody has cited in an answer to the back to basics, but I don't know if he, if he, I don't, I don't know how many he really has access to off of such limited mana. It's not even the limited mana; it's just the colors in general, and not yeah the colors which are able to fight enchantments. Yeah, they're not not. Uh, they are, however, pyroblast and red blast that was bought in. So okay, that's if you can pick those up and pick up a red source. Yep, then yep. we've got an option. There. Yeah, this is true. This is true. So he's picked he has one, which is the high tide and. Jays. Goes for the frantic search. It's the second, and we're just gonna pass turn before seeing if he can win next turn. Or I don't know. He might need another land first. Ah, oh, I think Gene just Gene's not in any rush here. Even on the turn that Cody manages to deal with the back to basics, Gene's still fine. He's spent however many turns just drawing cards. Yeah, playing lands. <laughs> <laughs> kind of where you want to be. Okay, so Kess Cody now discarding. And that's not where you want Kess. It's the other way around. <laughs> so gets another land and another I think we're just going to go for it here yeah I feel like he's pretty safe to do so yep high tide we've got the storm and the mana card at least yep so yeah he's feeling feeling pretty confident here plays the land for turn so we're looking at 8 mana so plays a frantic search and untaps 3 so we've got 1 mana floating Gonna draw two, discard two. Good. Getting rid of that immediately. Also got the V click in hand to make way for any potential. Oh, that's the other thing that's really unfortunate for Cody. He does have the fluster in hand. That said, though, even if he had the blue to cast at the presumably based on Gene's previous plays, the V click would be clearing the way to begin with. That sounds about right. And we've got a mission briefing. So, yep, he's going for the mission briefing and we're going to see Islands tapping for three. Yep, very likely. Yep. 
That's done two. Two. He's not really looking at those cards. He knows what he wants to target. Oh, no, he's considering, though. Well, it is that you can uh, leave one on top if you want. So oh, right, of course. you don't. deciding you don't. whether or not he wants to keep any of those. Sure, yeah, okay. If he wants to actually have an opportunity to draw them or just put them in the bin. You look at is that the that's the untap X spell you were talking about, right? Okay. Uh, not the finale because it's done the tap X in the casting cost, but it probably gets back a high tide rule. Yeah, I think sense. he I think he's gonna go after the high tide here. Uh so guessing he still hasn't he has to target immediately, right? Yeah, as so part, yeah, so as part of the spell. Yeah, not sure what he's targeted yet. I'm assuming he's targeted high tide, or so he's about to, or he's. I know. Might be going for the impulse. Okay. Yep. So I think he just needs some more action. So yeah, maybe looking it. for more card, like more cards. No, oh no, no, that was. That was high tide. That was, that was frantic search. Oh, that was frantic search. He pulled out. Okay, so feeling he needs more more cards than mana right now. Well, it's a combination of both if you're doing that particular option. Yeah, you definitely got to. Yeah, you've got to be mindful because you both both are required. Like if you no point having infinite like a bunch of mana if you've got nothing to cast with it. And there's no point having a bunch of cards to cast if you don't have enough mana to cast them. Okay, so we're getting rid of this snap and the island by the look of it. Yep. Oh, there's the un there's the Bring us with untap mana again. Untap. Frantic search. Great card. Okay, so that's the counter spell. All right. Still got some mana in the pool. Don't know how much. Enough, I would imagine. I believe it's two mana in the pool at the moment. I do find it interesting that Jeans chose to go off now. I feel like he wasn't under the pressure of needing to yet. I don't think you want your opponent to draw out of the situation that. Either. It's true, but even as I said, even if he manages to to answer the back to basics, Cody still has sorry, rather Gene still has time even after that. But nonetheless, he he felt maybe I don't know, maybe he needs to go to the toilet or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Could be very long rounds. We're seeing an impulse here. Yeah. One more time, which is they're basically counter spell. Not sure. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it's the uh the red the red caped counter spell. So, and I don't think he's drawn anything which can really help yeah, him in this situation. It's looking, so this might it's, just be a fizzle. Yeah, this might just fizzle out, which I mean I think that's maybe smart play by Gene there to not hit the high tide again, knowing he could potentially fizzle. Um yeah, I mean, like he's definitely not out of the, like. There's there's so many so many things he could draw into to just go again. Uh, so definitely not optimal. Obviously, uh, you don't want to you you don't want to start and then not finish. But at the same time, it's uh, looking like that might be the case. That's that said though, Cody doesn't have much to draw into, really. Well, obviously one of the basics. So Gene is going. I have no idea. Like it's some sort of war spell. He gets an opt, gets a mind's desire. Uh, it's seven storm. Oh, he's still storming. Oh, right. Okay. One mana left. I guess you just fire off the mind's desire. I don't think he can at the moment. I don't think he's got the. Uh, Is he short? Well, I think he's only got the one mana in pool if that dice is yeah. the mana that I think it is. Yeah. Calculated? Not sure, but I think we're passing turn. Yes, we are. Um. Okay, yeah, so... Just drew into nothing, I think. We've got Island. I think that's a turnabout, a Mind's Desire... Cody's still on the draw, discard, draw, go, discard, draw, discard, go, depends. <laughs> draw, discard, control, a very <laughs> traditional control style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, Gene's uh, high tide is now exiled, so we're going to be yeah, this is a lot more effort trying to go off now, I would say. 
Yeah, he doesn't have as free of a win, although he is still sitting behind a back to basics with a bunch of mana. I still, I still feel that he went off prematurely. I don't feel he didn't need to. I, I think he had just a lot more time. Even if your opponent draws a a basic, like let's say your opponent, you have counter spell. <laughs> the one answer that they have to your to your yeah. your prison, your current lock, is probably covered by your singular counter spell. Um. But he's still going to discard. Yep. Yep. So Gene just going through the pace. Yeah, just just land, go, draw some cards. Land, go, draw some cards. I'm sure at some point he'll hit a he'll hit a. Uh, uh, wow, I'm quite tired of forgetting card names. Uh, shuffle everything in and go again. Uh, a, a time spiral. Time spiral. That's the one. <laughs> yep. So we're going for Snapcaster this time. Uh, let's see. So he's pulling. Okay, so high tide was still oh, in the graveyard. It was oh, static surgery. Sorry, last yeah, time. yeah, that's that's correct. So no, he's okay. okay so so he's I think we're going for the time spiral here. Yep. Gonna see everything tapped. Yep. And start up the storm kind of again. Well, it's not the and worst. That's a palancron. Yeah, so palancron. as we said before, seven cost. When it comes into play, untap seven lands, and you can pay four mana to return it to your hand. So that is a gene demonstrating and that infinite is mana. An infinite mana loop. And with infinite mana, see what's going to happen. Yeah. So now, I was about to say the the look at, uh, the time spiral is probably a good opportunity for oh, roll some dice. Uh, not sure what just happened. I'm not sure why the the die roll was for, but uh, okay. Um, Goes sure. For the mind's desire. Yeah, mind's desire straight up doesn't doesn't time spiral first. Interesting. Well, it's <laughs> mind's desire for your library. Oh, of course. <laughs> With infinite mana. <laughs> yep. The, yeah, the, the infinite mana part's the bit I missed. Yep. Yep. Mine's an eye for the entire library. Put my library onto the onto the field. Do something. Kill you. Uh, bounces is library. I'm not actually certain what the win is here because... Oh, there we go. Playing something from Graveyard. There we go. Yeah. The rain freeze. Rain freezing bin. Oh, well, there you go. That is a uh, one way to recover from a fizzle. Yep, that yep fizzle and do it again, but better with more mana and other cards. And uh, that means that Gene is going to be progressing to the finals. Uh, we will see you back there in the next video. Yeah, uh, this just in. Uh, back to basics is a good card. Thanks, guys.